so uh, very good afternoon everyone <coughs> so um, earlier we have discussed about what data is required to conduct a clinical trial of new chemical entities in india so in this video i am going to discuss about what information is required to conduct clinical trials of phytopharmaceuticals in india as per new drugs and clinical trial rules 2019 earlier in schedule by it's not mentions about phytopharmaceutical but in new drugs and clinical trial rules uh, information related to phytopharmaceutical has been included so uh, phytopharmaceuticals is a drug of purifies standardized fractions it should be purified standardized fraction and minimum four bioactive compound of and plant ex, uh, plant extract and preferably it should not be given through parenteral route it should be given through oral route so uh, what data is required uh, you have to be in ind applications you have to be uh, include information related to identification authentications and source of plant which is used for the extraction process of extractions formulations manufacturing stability studies as you know uh, stability is also a major concern related to phytopharmaceuticals pharmacology if there is a uh, confirmatory clinical trials data that you can uh, include uh, regulatory status of that phytopharmaceutical in other countries and post marketing surveillance if uh, it's available so this is the information related to pharmaceuticals uh, you have to be include if you would like to conduct a clinical trial and this is the ind applications uh, of fda uh, in 21 cfr 3112 as earlier we have discussed this 21 means the laws related to food and drugs and 3112 is uh, related to ind applications uh, 58 is related to glp and uh, uh, if you would like to submit ind applications to fda then you have to submit in form number 1571 and you have to include the informations in a, uh, in this manner table of content introductory statement general investigation of plant uh, plan which you are going to be do in a human uh, ib is a investigator voucher which contains all the informations related to new chemical entities uh, protocol to conduct a clinical trials uh, cmc chemistry manufacturing control information related to new chemical entities environmental assessment pharmacology and toxicology data previous human experience if applicable if data is available additional information if you think this information is uh, important uh, uh, to submit uh, with this uh, with ind application that you can submit so this is about ind applications and next is evaluations of ind so in india as i told you in the earlier indian regulatory or central licensing authorities that is we call cla is cdesco central drug standard control organization head office is in delhi and uh, uh, as per new drugs and clinical trial rule there is a 30 days for review the ind applications uh, uh, with the molecule which are developed in india earlier in schedule by there is no fixed timeline uh, you submit the ind applications and you don't know when you will get response from regulatory authority sometime maybe you will get response from regulatory authority in 6 month or 1 year ultimately it increase the time as well as the cost in drug development process so now in uh, ndct 2019 it has been mentions about the 30 days fixed timelines if suppose within 30 days if your sponsor didn't get any response from uh, dcgi then it will, that protocol will be considered as a automatic approval to proceed but it doesn't mean immediately you can start uh, what you have to be notify the uh, dcgi by form number ct4a i told you in when we have discussed about different form the ct4a is the form uh, through which you have to be notify the dcgi if you didn't get any response from within 13 days then you have to be uh, uh, inform the dcgi uh, you are going to start your clinical trial and it will be considered as a automatic approval <clears throat> another is validity of clinical trial protocol is 2 years to initiate the studies if suppose uh, you got a ind approval but uh, due to xyz reason you didn't start your clinical trial so uh, it is valid uh, that uh, duration will be valid for 2 years within 2 year you have to initiate your studies if you are not uh, able to initiate the studies 
then you have to be informed to the uh, regulatory authority in some cases you can get one year extension not more than that uh, another point is in case of rejection suppose you have submitted the ind application to the uh, cdesco and your uh, uh, application has been rejected so the applicant uh, that is sponsor may request to reconsider the applications within a period of 60 days from the date of rejection of the application so you have to be um, request to the regulatory authority within 60 days if you are not uh, uh, not requesting or not uh, informing the regulatory authorities within 16 days then after that regulatory authority will not consider your request to reconsider your protocol this is about uh, India and in uh, CEDESCO there are uh, different teams to evaluate the IND. Uh, some are chemistry experts, some are pharmacology expert, toxicology expert, uh, pharmaceutics uh, experts, formulation expert. So all these uh, will uh, analyze your data and uh, as per your data they will, they, uh, you will might get number of queries from regulatory authority. And uh, after all these exercise, uh, regulatory authority will decide whether they will going to approve your protocol or there is a minor modification measure or they can even reject your applications also uh, to start a clinical trial. In uh, US FDA, there are uh, also a different teams uh, when you submit the IND. This is the CDR Central Drug Evaluation Research Center, uh, particularly IND of new chemical entity has been evaluated. CBR is Central for Biological Evaluation Research, if so your molecule is related to genes, antitoxins, so you have to that IND application we call BLA, Biological License Application. There is a another center for devices or radiological methods if you are working on medical devices you want to start a clinical trial center for veterinary medicine so all these are the department where your ind has been analyzed and regulatory authority will make the decision so this is a simple uh, process this as i told you the medical expert chemistry pharmacology statistics persons are there and accordingly you will get a uh, approval or not to get a approval so this is about uh, your IND applications. Uh, in next lecture, we will discuss about uh, ICS, that is the International Council for Harmonizations. Thank you.